Hey guys and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial here on psdevop.com YouTube channel. Uh, this is just a quick tutorial to show you the method I use to create this water text effect in Photoshop. And uh, I'll mainly focus on talking about the use of the displace filter in Photoshop. So it sets under filter, distort and displace. Alright, let's get started. So as you can see, I've got a, a pre-made water background here. So the first step we can do is to go to channels. In this scenario, I'm going to use the red channel because if you have a look at other channels, the red channel has the highest contrast between black and white. So this is going to be useful when it comes to using the dis displace filter later on. So we're going to duplicate this uh, red channel. Just uh, create a new document. Uh, type in your name. Doesn't, this doesn't really matter. You can just use any name. Go OK. So as you can see, we've got a, a new file uh, with just uh, this uh, alpha one channel. So what I would do is I'll further increase the contrast by using the levels adjustment. So just press Control L and bring up the levels adjustment. So I'm gonna just slightly increase the contrast. And uh, we can just make this uh, texture slightly blurred. So I'm going to use the Gaussian blur here. Uh, set the radius to 3.5 pixel. Go OK. So we're going to save this file as the uh, displacement map for our text. So we're going to use going to go to file, save as. So in this case, I'm going to save it as map 10. Save as type Photoshop and just save. Okay, so if we go back to our original file, just uh, go back to the RGB channel. I'm going to type some text over the image. It's going to be slightly make the text bigger. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to set the uh, text into a smart object. So I'm going to right click on the layer and go to convert to smart object. We can also change the blend mode of this layer to overlay. So as you can see, the text is uh, sort of blend into the water texture. Uh, this may look all right, but uh, you'll see the difference once I apply the distort, sorry, the uh, displace filter in, uh, in Photoshop. So we're going to select this text uh, smart object, go to filter, distort, displace. Uh, just leave the setting as it is. And uh, just go OK. We're going to go to the, the displacement map we just created, which is the map 10. Go to open. Okay, so as you can see, the text itself becomes more conformed into the water texture and uh, therefore making the effect more realis realistic. So the text looks like it's, fu it's fully submerged into the water. 
Okay, so um, if you have a look at my final effect here, I've applied a couple of um, blending options for the text. So I've got some uh, bevel and emboss filters here, uh, and uh, one uh, drop shadow blending option here. This is just to make the, the text slightly more real, more realistic. Um, so it looks like it's uh, it's underwater. All right, that's it for this tutorial. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, leave me a comment below, and uh, I will try my best to assist. Thank you, and uh, have a great day.